Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss the folder structure of the Filmora. What are the folder structure where you can store your project, where you can store your animations or the effects, where you can render or keep your render files in Filmora 12. All the things or all the folder structure we are going to explain in this video so let's get started it okay guys so now we are going to discuss the folder structure you know very well that i have installed my filmora 12 in my document and here as you can see in my documents we have a wondershare and we have a filmora setup because wondershare giving you a lot of tools or a lot of softwares let's suppose you have you are using the animation software then definitely it's available here so for now we are using only a single software which is a filmora Okay, if you click on the Filmora, Wondershare Filmora, then you have several folder structure available here. If you go to the backup, you have the backup. Let's suppose your system is shut down or the crash due to some reasons. The Filmora 12 automatically backed up your project and keep the files here. So that's why this is the folder where you can keep or Filmora 12 keep your backups. If you go to the cache, the Filmora 12, use the cache for your media, for the cloud, let's suppose you are working on Filmora and you are using the Filmora 12 cloud to upload or to download the, as you can see, this is the upload and this is the download. So the Filmora 12 keep all the projects here in this folder. If you go to the cloud disk task, the Filmora add some kind of files here. And also custom resources. Let's suppose you are going to customize any kind of uh, animations or any kind of title. The system automatically keep those particular customized title or the resources here out of the box for you. If you are downloading something or anything, the Filmora 12 keep all the downloads here. GPU configurations. Let's suppose you have configured the GPU. The Filmora 12 keep all the GPU settings in the gpu configuration as you can see these are the json files available and if you go to the installed effect let's suppose you are installing or install any kind of effects which is available here okay if you go to the media proxy let's suppose you have enabled the proxy then all the files available here if you enable the proxy and make sure you have to delete the proxy videos when your project is closed other apps available here if you are using other kind of applications the output files available here if you want to view the and all the projects file available here so let's suppose if you are working on multiple projects then definitely all the projects available here if you go to the new projects and here as you can see these are the preferences and save as you can see these are the projects files folders download and also wait. okay this is the default project so as you can see this is the project file if you want to change the folder it's up to you you can also change the project files so record it let's suppose if you are using the recording or like this one screen recording then all the files available here you can also preview the videos if you go to the render the system automatically store all the rendering files here snapshot if you keep all the uh, screenshot or if you are taking the screenshot which automatically available here temporary file film 12 views the temporary files and keep all the files here and the temporary thumbnails the system filmora use here if you are using the upload let's suppose you have uploaded uh, any kind of stuff on your social networks or any kind of networks then definitely all the files available here user media you can you will you have the user media here as you can see custom you have some kind of files available here you don't need to touch any folder if you are using the voiceover, the all voiceovers available here. And also you have some kind of files which is available here. You don't need to touch any kind of file. You don't need to delete any kind of folders. So these are the folder structure which is available for your Filmora 12. Okay guys, so this is the overview of the 
folder structures that uh, how can you manage or keep the files or working on the filmora by using the filmora 12 so i hope guys you are enjoying our videos if you think we are doing good thumbs up feel free to share our courses with your friends especially on social networks if you, if you think we are doing good and please donate us some stars if you are watching our videos on facebook and please support us and also our content by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so you never miss any update so thank you for watching